Designer Calvin Klein is at it again. He's put up a new billboard here in New York City that's not only being called racy, it has some people blushing. CBS News correspondent Bianca Solorzano is in Soho with the story and the billboard. Good morning, Bianca. Hi, good morning, Julie. This ad, it is literally five stories high. We were here for several hours yesterday, and we watched as people passed by, and many stopped for a closer look. Some even took out their cameras and took pictures, and most had a pretty strong opinion. It's hard to miss. Oh, it's an orgy. A larger-than-life provocative ad for Calvin Klein jeans. It shows a topless girl lying on a bare-chested guy while kissing another. A third guy lies on the floor, his Calvin's unbuttoned. And it's all plastered to the side of a downtown Manhattan building. I first walked up and I saw that and I was like, that is not very appropriate. I thought if wearing those jeans makes that kind of thing happen, I might buy a pair. In 1981, a young Brooke Shields confessed her intimacy with denim. You want to know what comes between me and my Calvins? Nothing. In 1995, Calvin Klein's campaign was pulled after public outcry that the ads were child pornography. Advertising critic Barbara Lippert says Klein is trying to stay relevant to a new generation of teenagers while competing with the sexy likes of American Apparel and Abercrombie and & Fitch. Is this what it takes just to keep up in the jean ad world these days? Yeah, it's like every couple of years, sex disappears for about 15 minutes, and then it comes back with a vengeance. Now, Calvin Klein did not respond to our request for a statement, but in published reports has said the intention was to create a very sexy campaign that speaks to our targeted audience. Julie? CBS's Bianca Solorzano. Thanks, Bianca. Well, joining us from Los Angeles is Dr. Jen Berman, author of The A to Z Guide to Raising Happy, Confident Kids. Good morning. Good morning. What's your reaction to this ad? Is it inappropriate, over the top? It is beyond inappropriate and over the top. It really borders on child pornography. I mean, the, the people in this ads are so young. The girl looks like she's about 15. And the other problem with this ad is that it's not like television where you can turn off the, the station if you don't like what you're seeing. This is on the street. You can't protect your children from it. You can't even protect your own eyes from it. So do you think it's harmful if, you know, I'm walking down the street and I'm with some young kids to see this ad, to be exposed to it? What kind of harm do you think it can do? I think that there's been a real trend in moving from the idea of girl power to girl sexual power. And that's a terrible thing for our daughters. And the idea is that we're telling our daughters that where their value is in, is in attracting men. And that's a very detrimental message. And I think that there are some girls who will see this and think, that, well, I have this fantasy of attracting a lot of men. Maybe I'll try this out. But it's a fine line between a girl's sexual fantasy and also gang rape. And I think that this really points to something like that. Not to mention it trivializes sex and our girls are bombarded with images of sex that are devoid of emotion, connection and love and that is really scary. We just heard Bianca say on camera that according to published reports this was the response from the people over at Calvin Klein to their ad. They're saying that basically they are appealing to their target demographic. Apparently, their target demographic is teenage girls who like foursomes. That's a very small demographic, if you ask me. What do you want to see done to this ad? I like to see it taken away immediately. Aren't they accomplishing exactly what they wanted to? Here we are doing a segment on national television. They're getting I, I, a lot of attention. Absolutely. And look, I kind of hate myself for being here talking about it and giving them publicity. But at the same time, I do think that parents need to be warned before they walk their kids down the street and they see this ad. Is there any sort of watchdog group that exists that would be responsible for saying, taking a look at ads before they make it out into the mainstream and saying appropriate, not appropriate, just like we on television, we have the FCC. Well, there's, there are a lot of different organizations, but there really isn't something for billboards. And that's something that I think this really opens the doors to create. Dr. Jen Berman, thank you for your thoughts and thank you for sharing with us this morning. Thank you.